What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this hotspot section right here. The way it operates is with those little icons right here as you hover over them. You can either add a little text, a video or whatever you prefer actually and I'm going to show you in a couple easy steps how you can save yourself a lot of time and money and get that section for almost nothing. Alright, let's jump right into it. The first thing I did for it was headed on over to the Shopify App Store where I got the Section Store app. That's the one I'll be using for this tutorial. You simply just click on it in the Shopify admin area. And the first thing we need, of course, is the hotspot section. So we're just gonna use this thing right here. So that is the one I used for this tutorial. The app itself is completely free. It's a non-subscription app and all the sections, even after you bought them, are also not coming with a subscription cost. So this one is $9. It's a one-time charge. And if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. No need for a developer or anything because it's fully customizable as well. All right. Next thing we're doing is heading back to the My Sections area of the app. You can find it in the left bottom corner here. We want to add it to the theme we were using. And Mike it's the Dawn Light theme. And then simply open up the theme editor. I've already done so. So that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm just going to hide this one real quick so I can show you how you can add it completely new. So you just have to head down, type in SS Hotspots. That's the one we will be using for this tutorial. I'm just going to save it up, chuck in one picture, and then I'm going to show you on the other one how you can customize it. So we're going to click on the main block itself, where you can already see you could add a headline and stuff like that too. But I want to just add a little background image. We're going to stick with that one for this tutorial. So yeah, there you can see it. Maybe I'll actually pick one which is a bit more wide angled. So the one I'll be using is going to be that one. Yeah, I'm just going to showcase you how it's going to look and then we can set the image ratio and the aspect ratio to uh, landscape so it's actually getting positioned in a wide way image radius is something we could change as well you can see it right here and a bunch of other things like where the hotspots are going to be positioned and how they're going to look but we can also animate them as you can see right here i think it looks quite nice and a bunch of other things you can do, but I'm gonna leave you to that because at the end of the day, you wanna customize it to your likings and you want it to look like how the rest of the store. So the hotspot background color is something we could change as well. So they're gonna turn into orange. Maybe we're gonna stick with something a bit more contrasty right here. Yeah, that is maybe looking nicer. Or maybe we're even gonna click blue. Yeah, you can definitely see those ones. Happy with that. The icon color we could change as well. We can pick an orange in that case. And there you can see it. Let's save it up real quick. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually add content to those things right here. So, yeah, that's that. Now I'm going to head back. And here you can see already we have a little icon right here. We can do icon and text, image and image and text. So, for example, if I would go with image or image and text, I'm just going to show you that because that's the most you can do basically to the icon. We're just going to pick an icon actually. Um, yeah, that's looking nice. And in the next step, we could actually select a video or an image inside the thing. So I'm just going to name this one Blanket. Select another image of it. Maybe I'm going to pick that one. It's going to be pretty big, um, but you can always change the size of it and frame it to your likings. This is a Blanket example. I'll save it up real quick and then we will have a look at it. Let's let it load up real quick. There we got it. And if I hover over this one and actually click it, I gotta do another adjustment to that one. Ah, oh yeah, here yeah, edit that. And if I would go with image and text, it would show me that blanket exactly. That's how it goes. Um, that is looking pretty nice already, I think. And another thing we could do. That is the hotspot content. We could add a video to the whole thing as well. So if I would want that, I could add, for example, this one. And I will save it up real quick. And if we hover over it now, the video is going to get imported into the whole block. And the actual image is just going to be here on the whole thing as well. And there you can see you got the video right here. Always takes a little bit to load up in the first place. The last thing I want to show you as well is where you can position the whole thing. So here we have the desktop just gonna put it here it's gonna go down and the horizontal position we want to be a bit more on the left and actually want to have that more up 
So let's tweak it a bit. And that is looking pretty nice on mobile. We have to do it as well. So we're going to scroll down a bit. And I think here we just have to do a little horizontal adjustment. So it slides more to the left. That is looking nice. Let's save it all up and have a final look at it in the live version. So we can round this whole thing up. The same applies to the other block as well. Right now it just says content. But you can either do it with video, without video. You can just tweak it to your likings. I think at the end of the day it is up to you how you want to do it. I just wanted to show you the technical side of this component. So let's have a look. I hover over it. The video is getting displayed. Let's wait a little bit and after it loaded, we can pretty much round up this video. I hope you guys found it useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And if we click on play here, we can see it is actually working. And with that being successfully accomplished, we're gonna end this one and goodbye guys.